Welcome to this short talk entitled T out effects in QCD and beyond. The key takeaway messages of this presentation are the generality of T odd transverse momentum dependent parton distribution functions and the associated T odd function sign change in a quantum gauge theory, and the possibility of finding analogs of T odd sign changes outside of QCD, i.e., in QED. To find such an analog, it is useful to understand the history of the problem. Here we see a brief history of T odd functions. In 1990, Sivers introduced the non zero T odd function as a consequence of the triple product. In 1993, Collins argued that this type of function must be zero based on PT symmetry. In 2002, Brodsky introduced a model of QCD respecting time reversal symmetry and again found a non zero T odd function. Later in 2002, Collins amended his previous results by the addition of Wilson lines. Note also the change in notation over time. In Sivers' original paper of 1990, we see data from Serpikov's experiments measuring PP to pion collisions. It was known that perturbative effects from the collinear parts of the cross-section, which are proportional to the quark mass, would be too small to describe the measured data. So Sivers proposed a non-perturbative function, which he shows here to have the correct order of magnitude. In 2002, Brodsky, Huang, and Schmidt generate a non-zero single spin asymmetry produced by the interference between two terms, one in which the outgoing quark and remnant exchange a gluon, and one in which they do not. In this model of QCD, the non-zero element of the cross-section is one proportional to the triple product. Soon after, Collins then amended his symmetry approach by the addition of Wilson lines. We see a non-zero single spin asymmetry and a sign difference that is process dependent. Note here the gluon exchange between remnant and either incoming or outgoing quark affects the direction of the staple links. Drelyan and Sidis therefore bring opposite signs. The mathematical connection between aronoff bohm and Wilson lines is the key to seeing the connection between QED and QCD in terms of process-dependent T-odd function sign change. Both give rise to interference terms, one via a photon exchange and the other via gluon exchange. The asymmetry has already been measured to be non-zero in QCD. What remains to be done in QED is to observe the process-dependent sign change. Such a single spin asymmetry in QED should be both calculable and observable. Here is a brief summary of this talk. Thank you for your time.